Hello and welcome to the Villa Park Podcast. It's me, Rich, and I'm back for a match preview for uh, the Europa Conference League uh, match day two against yep. uh, Zrinski Mostar. And I'm joined by uh, the OG again, uh, Rich B. Hello, mate. You were here for our last match preview in the Conference League. Maybe this is going to be a regular thing. Well, hopefully not, because we lost the last one. So if, yeah. <laughs> if we if we lose tomorrow night, I'm done. I'm I'm you know the, these these short sharp previews of the European games will be no more. Oh no! Well, please please win, please win, Villa. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully, oh, yeah. Yeah. just for that, yeah, just for that reason, just nothing that. else. Just for that, yeah. So um, yeah, we're gonna get into um, get into the uh, kind of the situation that Villa are in with this match. Um, the uh, the kind of predictions in terms of lineup, score predictions, and take a little look at um, the, our opponents and, and what we might be facing. Uh, before we do go, though, please, guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're very, very close to 2,500 subscribers, which is fantastic. Um, and we're also um, on the road to 3K. So, yeah, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for all your support. And, uh, yeah, just keep keep us, keep us it going and help us grow. Um, so, Rich... Tomorrow night, big, big game because um, we obviously we're talking before we we came in with such high hopes with uh, Europa Conference League. Um, and I think the players maybe got a bit of a shock playing against Legia Warsaw. Uh, but now we're in a situation where we do really need to get a victory um, at home. Yeah. Um, but it's got to get our Europa League sort of campaign on track. Yeah, it's um, without wanting to to go into the, the, the game against Lego Wars or too, too much. Um, we just looked leggy. We, we looked like we were just in awe of, of, of the, um, almost in awe of the situation, which when we spoke about it before the game, we didn't think that was going to be the case. We've got seasoned professionals. We've got internationals. We didn't think that they would, for want of a better phrase, bottle it as much as, they did. Um, and Leggett Walsall came out of, of the traps very quickly and just kind of got us playing at their tempo. I can't see that being the case tomorrow night. Um, Zerinsky have a uh, uh, capacity of 5,100. Villa Park's a huge place to, to go. And also, let's not forget that we have created a fortress at Villa Park. Um, I don't know if you're still here. You're coming back. I right? am yeah. still here. Right, I've got my camera. <laughs> I could do it on my own, mate. I don't need you. I've done this enough, right? Everyone say bye to Rich. Um, we've created a fortress of Villa Park now, and it's a different prospect. Yes, there is pressure. Yes, we do need need to win. Um, but I, I, I'd like to think that experience of Lego Water would just, just prepare us a little bit better for tomorrow night now. Yeah, yeah. Apologies for my camera. It's all of a sudden made me go, purple um but yeah we'll keep going (laughs) we'll keep going um but yeah i mean yeah you 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 summed it up you know perfectly in terms of the way we approached that first game and the shock that we got maybe it was a lesson that that was learned and hopefully that proves to be the case after tomorrow but uh, it also leads to another situation where you know in terms of how unai emery approaches this game because we've We've had a brilliant game against Brighton. We've got another game coming up, you know, in Wolves. Obviously, that is be- be- before an international break, so the players do get a bit of a break. But with the injury problems we've got, with one or two players coming back to fitness, there's one or two players that were kind of, you know, going down with cramp or a little bit struggling after Saturday. You know, how how does he approach it? Because we, he made lots of changes to against Everton. He made lots of changes against Legia Warsaw. He's in a little bit of a tricky situation with with how he approaches this game. He certainly is. I mean, look, tomorrow night isn't do or die. There's still a fair few games in in the competition to play. But 
the more we lose the the harder it's going to be to advance from from the group so what there's we play everyone twice we're a, a, a game in um Zerinsky have have won and 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 won well you know three nil down at half time and then to score four in in a, a second half Whatever we do in the first half at Villa Park, whether that is score one, two, three goals, we've got to know that they're going to come out and try and get get a result in, in the second half. I think a lot of people, well, I certainly was, I think a lot of people were surprised by the, the team that uh, Unai picked for the game. Yeah. And it backfired. It, it, it backfired. You know, it wasn't the result we wanted. And also, it wasn't the performance that we wanted either. It's not like we can say we played really well and the, the rubber, the green just went against us. That's, that's not, not the case. So, I, I think he... Look, it's hard, right? You know, we, we played Everton and in the Cup and people, some Villa fans were glad that we got kicked out of it. I'm, I'm not one of those Villa fans. That was a, that was a game we should have won. And, and, and OK, we, we don't know if we had won, if we'd been, if we would have got drawn against Burnley. But all of a sudden, that looks like a a, a, a Cup run that we could have gone far mm-hmm. We've got good players in our, 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 our squad. You look at our bench now and it's strong. You look at some of the, the, the players he's, he's brought in outside our first 11. They're strong, but on paper, the Legia Warsaw team, the, the, the team that played Legia Warsaw, should have got a result. People didn't didn't step up. So does Emery stick with those players, the 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 the, the, the chambers of the squad, for example, or, or does he does he mix it up? I think he'll put a strong team out. Mm. I, I think it won't be too dissimilar to what we saw on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those, isn't it, where you, you talk, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Yeah, and I think yes, he's got the point. Is is the number of games that we should or hopefully should be playing means that the ones who aren't necessarily playing in the Premier League every week are going to still get enough game time to satisfy themselves or to get into, to kind of push for the first team or or whatever, what is perceived as the first team in terms of the Premier League. But at the moment, they're kind of failing that audition. So it's almost as if, you know, how many chances does he give them? How many chances does he give the likes of, you know, Yuri Tillemans, who has played well in parts, or Longley, you know, obviously it was his first game in, bit of a baptism of fire. You know, John Duran, who's kind of hot and cold, you know, obviously has scored some fantastic goals. And and like Callum Chambers, like how many opportunities does he give him because it's he's going to have to rely on them at some point well he is you know and 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 who knows what conversations happen behind closed doors at, at Villa mm. Park and what the aim for the season is it, it, is it to to win the, the, this cup you'd like to think it is or is it let's you know let's get that experience of European football and if we don't proceed out of the group stages then the, the aim is to finish sixth, fifth, fourth in, in, in the, the Premier League. But irrespective of what the aims are for Aston Villa this season, you need competition. I mean, Luca Dean is a perfect example of how a bit of competition for his position has, has increased his performance. And whether it's, I don't know, Stevenage away in the Richard Sutherland Cup or it's Legia Warsaw, players still need to come in and perform to their best of, of their ability. Otherwise like we're talking about now, they don't get picked, but but as important to that, they don't drive the competition within the squad. If you're, mm. if you're Matty Cash and you're looking at Callum Chambers' performance, you're like, well, I can just maybe take my foot off the gas a little. There's not that extra 5% we're going to get out of Matty Cash. But then does Unai Emery just ring in the changes? Um, I don't I don't know. that. You know, I think the defence was a bit of a mishmash of, of players that had not played together before, which I, I thought before the game was, it was a bit of a, a weird choice. But still, I went into the game, the Leggy Warsaw game, confident that, that we'd, we'd get a result, but it just looked too disjointed. So whether, I mean, I, I know you've got um, your your potential selection that you're going to bring up shortly, whether he goes with a tried and trusted or he sticks with the people and, and you know, yeah, yeah. gives yeah. them that opportunity to of redemption, I guess. Yeah, well, let's let look at my uh, predicted lineup. So I've actually gone with. I think that was the back four. Maybe it was Dini who, who was in against uh, Legia, but yeah, I've put Chambers and Long Lane again. I just feel like Cash put so much into Brighton, and then we've got Wolves on on yeah, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. I feel like, but then it's a home game, so maybe he's not. <clears throat> there's not as much travelling. 
But yeah, four across the bat. Chambers, Conta, Longley, Torres, Luis, Kamara, McGinn, Zaniolo, um, Watkins and Ramsey. Um, obviously, Ramsey, I thought, played really well when he came on. I think there's a lot of people are saying Zaniolo's best position isn't on that left-hand side. It's on the right-hand side. DRB came off with a bit of cramp, so maybe it's an opportunity for Zaniolo to play in his, his favoured position, I suppose. But then Watkins up front, I think we need we need firepower, we need goals. So, yeah, what about, what are your thoughts on that lineup? Well, I'm, I'm looking at the lineup that we, we put out against Legia Warsaw, and it, from what the BBC tells me, it's a four-two-three-one that that we played. But the personnel mm-hmm. wasn't too dissimilar. Torres didn't play; it was it was Dina that played left back. Uh, Tielemans played um, in midfield over uh, Dougie Lewis in in, in your. Uh, selection and then you've got Duran and Bailey in instead of Watkins and, and, and Ramsey. I think Ramsey needs the minutes. He came on, he did well, took his goal really well um, on Saturday. I, th- I think he he starts. I think Duran probably will start over Watkins. I think that um, he also was brilliant on on, on Saturday, but he's an. I think he'll be used as an impact player and. and I think Duran can come out of the leggy Warsaw game with his head held high. You know, he he was a headache. He, perhaps he didn't have the support they needed around him to 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 do better in the game. But I, I don't think he was one of our problems. No, in, in no, he game. got his goal. Yeah, he got yeah, his goal. Well, yeah, just, he's, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on, sorry. So I, I think he he will 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 start. I think Ramsey will start. I don't know what the the situation is with with Bailey. I think Zaniolo has looked good. I think he's confident. He's he's an interesting player, Zaniolo. I, I, I can't think of many other like six foot plus Italians. Or, you know, six two. I think he might be that aren't playing centre half or centre mid. And it, you know, he's but. I saw on, on, on Saturday that there was the effort that he was yeah. putting in as, as well as yeah. the ability on, on the ball. I think he'll, he'll, he'll start. I think that front three will, for me will be Duran, Zaniolo and, and, and Ramsey. I think Tielemans will, will get minutes. I think he might start. Um, whether that's in place of, of a, a Kamara, mm. perhaps. I, th- I think you're probably spot on with, with the, the, the back four. Um, and I think, yeah, Martinez will be in that, that team as, yeah. as well. He's, yeah, I, th- I think he, I think that's more of a balance. Like, Ramsey's obviously a really good player. Well, he would yeah, be he, in our he's, starting he's, lineup. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Even if Dur- Duran or Watkins, obviously, yeah, Duran might be his Europe, Europe uh, Conference League um, striker. Watkins striker, can yeah. come on and make an impact, like you say. But Olsen, I think, I think to make sure we get off, get off the win, I think he'll want a strong goalkeeper in 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 the sticks, and Martinez, I think, will get the nod. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, it's with an inexperienced defence, and what I say inexperienced, and they haven't played together. I mean, do you need that goalkeeper to command uh, from 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 the back? So, uh, yeah, I, I I think there was. Certainly for, for, for me after the Lego Warsaw game and then it almost after the Everton game, it's just like, well, we've worked so hard to get to this point to be able to play European football, to then almost play a reserve team, it's why 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 have put the effort in to get there? And I don't know, like Emery, Emery knows a lot about European competition. So whatever he picks, he will obviously be the best selection with all the information to hand. We can sit here and think, well, you know, he should have played X, Y, Y, Z, but he's got, he's got a a, a plan for for the season. I think if we lose, um, which I I don't think will happen, but I think if, if, if we lose, it starts putting a huge amount of pressure on, on the next few fixtures, because um, I'm not sure if if we've got a a slide of of, of the league table, but uh, if they beat us all of a sudden, they've got two victories and they're going to play six six games um, between, well, across the course of of, of the group, it just starts becoming harder for us and more pressure, you know, mistakes become a bit, well, create more problems for us in in those, those future games. I don't want to be disrespectful to uh, Zerinsky in in any way because they won four three. You know they they've got yeah. points on the board. We, we haven't. 
I just would like to think that a, a full Villa Park with a, a 75% full strength team should be too much for them. Yeah. Well, let's let's have a quick look at the kind of yeah their form and uh, and where how the table looks after one game. So yeah. Yeah, they're in the Bosnian Premier League. Uh, so obviously, we're not experts on that. We're not we're not sure of the standard. But you know, yeah. for any team to win four games in a row, um, one of them being in the Conference League against Altmar, coming back from three 0 down, um, is is no mean feat. Um, and sitting top of the table at the moment on the basis of scoring four goals. Uh, Legia Warsaw obviously after beating us uh, are in second, and the two probably group favourites are sitting on zero points at the moment in Villa and Altmar. We've obviously off the back of, you know, three wins out of five. Those two defeats, as you say, Rich, were cup games where we have made changes um, and we've had to react to that in in the league. Um, but yeah, like you say, it, it's one of those where we've got to look at it as an opportunity to, to get on and, and win and a game that we should be winning. And conceivably, you could see all four teams being on three points at the end of the at the end of this second round yeah. of matches, and, and that that leaves that league blown wide, wide open. It 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 it, it does, uh, and and I guess that's probably the best outcome for Villa from the, the games th- this week because no one's pulled away, no one's yeah. you know that one spot isn't slowly being s- secured. It, it's it's all to play for. Um, I also think if he does play a weakened team. That some of those players are seasoned professionals that they'll want to put right what you know what what mistakes they they, they made. I, do, I mean, I mean, watching Callum Chambers, I like Callum Chambers as a football player. I think he's done some good things in in a Villa shirt, but it looked like quicksand had been poured down his his <laughs> his, 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 his story top. Let alone sweat being held in it. He was so slow, and I, I you know, he wasn't like he was playing at a high altitude. I, I it just now whether he's I don't know whether the right back is in his the, the right position for him. I, I I don't know. Maybe we've been spoiled with the with the the speed of a Matty Cash, but he, they spotted that weakness. They spotted the the, the lack of connection between the, the centre halves, and it just looked too easy for them. Them mm. being a leggy Warsaw, obviously. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if. There was a weekend team put out again weekend, or I wouldn't be surprised if he was a full strength. Let's go and put three points on the board. Yes, we have got Wolves at, at the weekend, and and Wolves have started to hit a little bit of form. Um, but oh, I mean, look, it's not towards the end of the season, and players have have played exactly. Yeah, loads, yeah. Loads There's no ways that to consider. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like you can play on a Thursday night and come off after sixty minutes having done a shift and 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 be good to go on a Sunday. I get the argument around players playing too many minutes, but come on, you know, yeah. like it, 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 <laughs> it's not April, is it? No, no, no. Yeah, you make a good point. Um, just to finish up, then um, score prediction, mate. Score and scorers. What are you gonna? What are you saying? I would like to think that Aston Villa would will win by. I'm going to say three one. I think we're going to win by two clear goals. I think Duran will score. Um, um, I think Watkins will come on and score. And I think Zaniolo deserves a goal. Um, I yeah. think, you know, he, he's certainly got it in him. He's 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 starting to fit into the, the team and, and and play well with the players around him. Um, but, yeah, so if, if the formation is as we think it might be, I think those th- three players will, will score. Nice. I'm going to say 3-0. Um, I think it'll be like I think we'll get out of the traps quick. I think we want to do that. So I think I I agree with you. I think Zaniolo will get his first goal. I think he'll be itching for it. Uh, yeah. I think Ramsey Ramsey I fancy for a goal as well. Yeah, and uh, and me. Watkins. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I don't care who scores. Um, I don't. No, care we, we just need a score. win. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, as, as, as it'd be nice. The, the three points at, at the end of the night. Um, look, I, I thought we were fantastic on 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 Saturday and. Emery might look at that and think, I don't need to tweak it too much. Uh, I felt that we we took our chances really, really. There's a little bit of luck in a couple of the goals, but um, you just like to think Villa Park rocking like that with with the players that, that we've got at our disposal, with a, a real point to prove in, in this league, um, I can't see us losing. 
Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. It gets us back on track in the group. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, get your score thank predictions you. in the in the comments. As I say, apologies for my camera. I don't know what's happened to it, but I, I think it makes me look slimmer. You know, it makes well, me look all right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like it. I yeah. might apply this. I might apply this camera to the rest of my body. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I like it. <laughs> but yeah, um, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, help us continue on the road to three k. Your support has been amazing, guys. So thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, continue you to hit the like button hit the subscribe button let us know your thoughts in the chat as well uh score predictions and uh starting lineups and uh, yeah we'll be back for a match reaction we've got wolves preview coming up um and also don't forget to check out talking tactics with gareth um which was amazing piece of uh, research and analysis for the brighton game so yeah loads of content on the channel rich thank you for joining me mate thank you, thank you everyone watching hope for a win and uh, as always remember we all follow the villa Thanks, everyone. Oh,